I, I've lived in New York City for about 12 years, which is good. I, I, I get a lot of my material just from existing there. <laughs> like, uh, I was on the train once, it's a true story. I was on the train, there was a couple across from me. The man said to the woman, what do you want to do for dinner? And I swear to God, the woman said, I think that lanky Jew is listening to our conversation. <laughs> I am Jewish. I don't make a big deal out of it unless I'm losing an argument with a person of color. <laughs> but I did one time have a German bartender and somehow it came up I was Jewish and he was like, oh, I'm so sorry for the Holocaust. Which really threw me off guard. Because like, how, how am I supposed to respond to that? No worries. <laughs> Don't let it happen again. I didn't know. I was just like, could I get a free beer? <laughs> and he said, no, I can't do that. I was like, what the f <laughs> How many Holocausts does it take? And he said, no, 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 I want to, but my boss would get mad. I was like, I get it. You're just following orders. Now, I'm, I'm not gonna talk about COVID tonight. I, 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 it's become so divisive. I mean, I, I had a good friend, he was so anti-vaccine, I had to stop speaking to him, because he died. <laughs> but social distancing was hard for me, because my father's Italian. And if you don't know Italians, we hug, we kiss, we get fired for it. <laughs> because it makes non-Italians very uncomfortable. <laughs> like my roommate's not Italian. I remember the first time my roommate saw my Italian father and I kiss each other goodbye. He was like, ew. <laughs> Do you kiss your dad in public? And I was like, yeah, yeah. You know what would be weird? If I only kissed him in private. <laughs> I was like, hey, Pops, let's get out of here. <laughs> For a private goodbye. <laughs> and I obviously was not born in Italy, but in the 1930s about my, my great-grandpa Luigi, which is his real name, my great-grandpa Luigi and my great-grandma Donkey Kong immigrated to America. <laughs> when people ask me where in Italy is your family from, I'm like, Nintendo. <laughs> No, to be honest, I don't know a lot about my heritage because I never even met my dad's dad, which is a tradition I hope to continue with my son. <laughs> my parents got divorced when I was seven days old. So like most kids, my first word was mama, but my next five word told me to tell you. <laughs> Real quick, round of applause if your parents are divorced. Make some noise, clap it up. All right, all right. May I, may I ask, how old were you when your parents got divorced? Uh, 15. 15, so it was your fault. <laughs> it's... The hardest part is watching your parents date. Like I, I, I just met my dad's new girlfriend and, and we have a lot in common, like being born in 1988. <laughs> It's weird, he likes dating younger, I like dating older. One time we went on a double date, it looked like the family dinner I never had. But everyone in the restaurant was staring because I thought my dad was playing footsie with my sister. And I was getting handsy with my mom. And then my dad went to kiss me and I was like, let's do this in private. I am pro-choice, which you knew. You knew that. You knew that already, because there's certain beliefs that just go together with other ones, right? Like, there's no such thing as a sexist trans ally. 
I've never met anyone who's like, trans women are women and they belong in the kitchen. I was very upset when Roe v. Wade got overturned because I have three little sisters who should have been aborted. <laughs> I'm trying to be a better ally. Like, uh, I live in this neighborhood in New York called Harlem. And if you don't know Harlem, it's a historically black neighborhood. I live across the new Whole Foods on Malcolm X Boulevard, which is what he would have wanted. And I was in Harlem for all of 2020. I, I did uh, several of the marches for Black Lives Matter. And I, I remember one, we, we were marching down uh, uh, Malcolm X Boulevard and we were chanting, you know, Black Lives Matter and no justice, no peace. Fuck these racist ass police. And then we got to the block where I live. And suddenly everyone started chanting, Hey, hey! Ho, ho! These gentrifiers have got to go! <laughs> and I don't know if you've ever had a march turn against you <laughs> while you were in it. But I did what a lot of white liberals do when we find out we're part of the problem. I chanted harder. The first white guy I saw coming out of Whole Foods, I was like, you don't belong here! Which really confused him, because he was my roommate. And he was like, Jamarco, what are you doing? I was like, Jamarco, oh, do we all look the same to you? And then I marched right in the face of a police officer, and I was like, could you escort me back to my apartment, please, officer? That's my time, everybody. Thank you very much.